Hello everyone, it is Holly and Kayla with Never Quite Perfect. Today we have the Simpson Avail Holiday Tea Sampler. This has sample packs of all of their holiday teas. Is that like a daily thing? No, it's 10 teas. So we will try some tonight. Oh, look, it's, oh, it's how pretty it is. How pretty? How pretty? We're going to ruin it. And they're in there. So you can give this as a gift to Let's someone. Let's see. What? Yeah. Can you, right, pull them out one at a time. I don't know, fun. I'll pull a four at a three at a time, okay? Save me. The first one is Winter Wonderland. So what's in it? Oh, yeah. This one has organic green rooibos, organic cocoa nibs, organic cinnamon, winter wonderland flavoring, and blue cornflower petals. Next is sugar plum fairy. Sounds yummy. The ingredients are organic green rooibos, organic whole cloves, rose hips, hibiscus, sweet blackberry leaf, plum flavor, milo blossoms, raspberry pieces, natural strawberry flavor, vanilla beans. And we have roasted chestnut. This one has red rooibos, orange blossoms, and roasted chestnut flavoring. Oh. Then organic candy cane. Ingredients are organic green rooibos, natural candy cane flavor, organic stevia, and organic red and white corn flower petals. Okay, then we have figgy pudding. This one has green tea, currants, orange peel, figgy pudding flavor, cinnamon, Sweet blackberry leaf, raspberry pieces, and corn flowers. Talking them all. <laughs> white chocolate peppermint. Ingredients organic green rooibos, organic cocoa nibs, white chocolate, peppermint flavoring, and organic yeah. words. And organic white corn flower petals. And it's caffeine free. Then we have St. Nick's. This one has black tea, almonds, organic cocoa nibs, vanilla beans. Moose Tracks Flavoring and Orange Blossoms. That makes me think of Pop-Pop Moose Tracks. We should probably say something about Pop-Pop Moose Tracks. We know how much they love to eat flavored teas. Um, nutcracker. Ingredients, black tea, almond pieces, orange peel, cranberries and flavors, cinnamon and chocolate. Flavor is cinnamon and, cinnamon and chocolate nuts. And we have Holiday Blend. This one has black teas, rooibos, peppermint leaves, organic alfalfa leaves, Vanilla flavoring, Malva blossoms, Erica flowers, and vanilla beans. Okay. Now, lastly, of gingerbread, the first ingredient is organic China black tippy tea, organic cinnamon, organic cloves, organic ginger, and gingerbread flavoring. I'm questioning the first ingredient because I've never heard of that ingredient before. Guess we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna decide which. Should we try all ten? Be brave. Sure. <laughs> That's a lot of tea. Let's for just one torture night. ourselves. <laughs> All right, we're going to go brew no, up no, a few no, no. of these. No, what about which one? Okay. We'll okay. decide. Okay, we have gingerbread. And a hard time. Here's what it looks like. Um, nutcracker. There's what that one looks like. Winter Wonderland. Chestnut. And white chocolate peppermint. Okay. All right, we are back with the first five of the Simpson and Vale holiday teas. We each picked two, and then we picked one at random. The one random we picked was roasted chestnut. So we will do the next five later this week. We have some other ones from Adagio and Harney and Sons. See, today. I'm going to cry by the end of all these Christmas tea videos because she's like, oh, yeah, I have already have it planned out and everything. She's like, but there's more coming. Christmas Eve, she's gonna have me like, okay, hey, come on down, we have to do some Christmas days. <laughs> and then we have to wrap all these gifts. All right, we'll start with gingerbread. I hate, I love that mug with the design, but I hate how it's left. I know it is hard to drink out of because his nose is in the way. 
Yeah, blame the nose. Mm, I'm not getting a lot of taste from that one. See, I want to drink. Oh, it's there. It's on the back end. You okay? After, you can only smell so much lint before your stomach hurts, okay? Not much gingerbread. And it's like all the gingerbread teas we have tried, they need more gingerbread. We should try that iced. We should try that iced because the gingerbread one I have that I tried iced, I liked. It gives me a margarine. I forget which brand it was. The one you made last night? Yes. This thing. Bigelow, maybe? We were setting up our Christmas decorations finally, and we came across like four different Christmas teas. I'm not noticing a taste difference. Oh, there you go. Like, I should have, I didn't, see, I don't want to make it too strong, but I feel like it needs more tea. It's not very tasty. Please are coming right now. All right, so I'm gonna give that one a three. Oh, it tastes like a regular iced tea, pretty much. I'm gonna give another three, because it's, yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's a meh. We'll try it iced, eventually. Eventually, yeah. Maybe after my stomach's done dying from the land. Tomorrow cheese. I'll have to make, well, maybe not tomorrow. Soon I'll have to make up batches of iced tea. All right, do you want to do down your end or do we just want to go straight down? We feel like being weird tonight. Let, white chocolate peppermints are next teas. We already read the ingredients. Yep. Right. Are you going to taste it or am I going to taste it? I'm going to chug it. I'm going to hug it. it. I need to taste it. You know I hate sugar. Ooh, but this smells really good. I love white chocolate peppermint. I love it. I think I know what that could use. Creamer? Yeah. It does smell really good. It tastes pretty good, too. I'm going to put this back here so it's out of the way. I like this. I think this is probably... I have a peppermint bark tea from Republic of Teas. I did an iced version of that. So night. tonight, you shall see all of our Christmas mugs except for two. Uh, two or three? Two or three. I think I have three more. And I'm going to cry now for you, Alicia. 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 Why that lip lick? I think you like it. I like it. I'll make it a little stronger next time. You got a hole in your mouth? <laughs> I'm going to give that one a four. What about you? Guess. Well, you keep sucking it down, so I'm guessing a five. Mm -hmm. No, a four. Because I'm not... See, mint cheese to me, peppermint, mint cheese, or whether I don't deserve a five to me. <laughs> All right. Like, that's my personal thing. Next up, nutcracker. <laughs> that yep. a and it does have fun. almonds in it. Don't forget Mm, it tastes like water. Mm, it tastes like water. Well, maybe we should put more tea back in. I put more. I put too much water for the amount of tea in this one. That is my fault. That tastes like some weirdly tasted water. Because like you don't taste any tea. You just taste one teaspoon for six ounces, and this is more than six ounces. And you only do one teaspoon. I did one and a half. Zoe. I mean, should we even put creamer in this? I don't feel like we should waste good creamer. Yeah. I want to remake this one with more. We'll try that one again when we do the other five. Yeah, I'm going to reserve rating on this because that one's my fault for not putting enough tea in there. Yeah. I don't want to judge it harshly if it's my fault. But as of right now, it's a one for both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think that's on me. So yeah, so we'll try, try it again. again. We won't get rid of it quite yet. Next is roasted chestnut. Chestnuts are roasted. This one's the one with floaties because I. It's chonky. <laughs> it's Apple. Roybus. Roasted chestnut. Back to what we were doing. So this one's rooibos, and and chonky. This one tea filter basket that I have. Obviously. The rooibos gets through, and I hmm. totally forgot about that because I don't use that filter that I, much. I couldn't tell by all the dang floaties. And now we have all these floaties in our tea. <laughs> And since we both have texture issues, it's going to be interesting. This is why I don't use that filter very much, but... No, actually. You like it? I'm Get guessing. Get away. Come on. Get away. Let me taste. Ooh. 
still had creamer in it. I think it'll be even better with creamer. We'll see. Like, when it comes to creamer, it's hard like to put it in out because it comes out so quickly. Come on. No, no, it's mine. Mm. Oh, oh, that one is good. I'm gonna give that one a four. I actually liked it better without the creamer, though. I'm putting sticking oil on it, reserving it as mine. Okay. Is that a four or a five? Uh. <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> Um, a four and a half. Okay. And then our last tea for this evening is Winter Wonderland. And Kayla picked this one because she's like, I wonder what Winter Wonderland flavor Cause, is. Because that's one of the ingredients. Winter Wonderland flavor. Are we going to just sniff it? Like, do we taste... Do I'm we, trying to figure out what the flavor do we, is. Do we, like, taste things through our nose? Well, not in our nose. Go ahead. I am tired and I don't feel good. Because I inhaled too much when it does. I think we should redo this one too. I th yeah, it tastes like water. I think you should redo this one. I think you didn't put enough in again. Yeah. See, I'm not, usually we use smaller cups when we do reviews. But today was. But I wanted to use my Christmas cups. For Christmas and cheese. Well, this is our own. And I didn't adjust well enough. All right, so we have two that we'll redo. Nutcracker and Winter Wonderland. And hopefully you. But the others were good. Even gingerbread. That's probably on me that it's not stronger. Are you Got okay? a chunk. <laughs> All right, so that is it for tonight. So a far, we're liking these out teas. Of nowhere. We will finish the rest of these up I in the next like couple trade. days. <laughs> like this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.